When you share any files or folders within SharePoint Online or OneDrive for Business, do you use anyone with the links option? Or do you have anyone with the links option enabled within your SharePoint Admin Center? Well, if you do use anyone with the links option, then you must watch this video. You might accidentally be sharing extra permissions which are not required by your recipients. Or whenever you share anyone with the links option, those links might still be sitting there and anyone can actually access your files and folders. Hello and welcome to Tech by Tosh. My name is Toshit and in this video we are going to talk about how you can control and limit the use of anyone with the links option. We are going to look at the different options you have with anyone with the links and how you can basically control those options and make sure you don't have anyone with the links open ended. Let's go and watch the video. So I am currently logged on to a SharePoint site called marketing. Under that I have few documents and a folder. Now in this video we are actually going to talk about the sharing options specifically anyone with a link. Now by default what happens is when you share a document using anyone with the link options you have the editing option uh, enabled and you don't have any expiry date. What it means is when you share a document using this option and with the defaults in place it actually shares a document with another person and that person can actually edit the document. That person can also forward that link to someone else and anyone who has that link can also edit the document. So what, what it means is it actually opens a bit of a security hole um, within your you know, document space or SharePoint site and anyone with a link can actually have access to the document and can edit the document. Now let's see how it works, right? For example, I want to share this document with my Gmail account and I will select, put my Gmail account in, click OK and then send. I can also write some a message. Um, here is the document. So here is the document. Right, and let's just send. So I have shared the document with my Gmail address. So let me open my Gmail account. So once I open my Gmail account, I can see that I have a document which has been shared with me. Now, if I open this email, I can see that um, I have this email which basically says Toshit Bardwa shared a file with you. So this is coming from my um, tenancy account. So I'm using my um, you know tenancy account to share the document. Now, if I click on this document, right? So and it you you might also notice that there's also um, a text which says this link will work for anyone. So what it means is if I sh forward this file or share this link with anyone, right? Um, with any third party, then that person will also have access to the document. As I said before, when we shared this document, right? It was shared with the default options, which means anyone with the link can edit. So the other person or the third party can also edit the document. So if I open my Gmail again, and let's open this in um, incognito window so that I don't need to, you know, it's a, it's a fresh session. So I didn't have to sign in because uh, when the link was shared, it basically said anyone with the link can actually access the document and edit the document. So let's see, this has been edited. So I have edited the document. So when, when I go back to my marketing site, I can see that this document has been edited. So let's go back to the other window and see what happened to the document. So if I go back to the marketing site and open this document, I will see that this has been edited. Okay, so I can see that this has been edited. 
right? So this is what happens when you share a document with, you know, the default setting or if within your organization they have not limited um, these options. Now this little icon is actually telling me that, you know, there's a guest contributor, which is basically my Gmail account. Uh, it's also um, editing this document. Again, you know, this is just not limited to this particular guest contributor that I have shared with. That get guest, guest contributor can also forward this link to any other person and that that person who has this link will also have the same access. Now, this is, this is a big security hole, right? Unless you want, um, you know, your site or folders to, you know, work like this, that's a different story. But to me personally, we really want to limit this sort of functionality. We want to limit it. We want to limit, we want to limit that, you know, whoever we're sharing with that only person can actually access the document. Now, how do we limit it? You know, that, that's, that's the first thing. Okay, so if I go back to my marketing site, um, uh, we cannot make these sort of changes in this site. So I have to go to a SharePoint admin center and make some tweaks uh, in the admin center. So I have the uh, Office 365 admin center open. Now to go to SharePoint admin center, I'll click on the SharePoint icon. Um, I already had this open, so let me just close these two windows. So this will then open up the SharePoint admin center. Under the SharePoint admin center, on your left hand side, there's a policies section. Under policies, there are the sharing policies. Now this is the page where we have to play with these settings. You can see that this setting is, uh, the sharing setting is actually set to anyone, right? Users can share files and folders using links that don't require sign in, okay? We can change these settings. I'll talk more about this in my next video. But right now, let's just talk about having anyone setting in place and how we can further restrict it. Okay, now if you scroll at the bottom, um, you'll see there are more external sharing settings, right? Now, you can actually limit it. Uh, there are a number of different options um, which you can select and which basically says, you know, limit external sharing by domain. So you can have, you know, a particular domains in place uh, that users can actually share these um, files and folders and there are you know you can specify specific security groups to share externally that means only people who are added um, here uh, or through the security groups can only share those documents so we're not going to talk about these options um, in this video but we'll just have a look at how we can further limit this sort of capability with having anyone with a link uh, access in place. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see there are files and folder links, all right? It says choose the type of link that's selected by default when users share files and folders in SharePoint and OneDrive. So we have three options. So right now it is set to anyone with the link. What it means is when we share a file by default, this is the selected link. If you want to change the default behavior, for example, if you want to have this to, you know, um, people with existing access or, you know, with a link, then you can actually change this setting from the admin center. You can say, by default, make it to only people in your organization. So when you select this and save this option, when you try to share a document, instead of um, anyone with the link, you'll have, you know, people in TechPathosh as the default option selected. Let's go back to the admin center. Now, this is um, the default value when you share a link. So what it means is there are two options. There's view and edit. So when you share a document, let me go back to the marketing site again. When you share a document, it basically says anyone with the link can edit, right? So if I go further on that, obviously there are different options which is allow editing. Now we don't want other people to edit the document when we share it with anyone with the link, right? I just close this one. Go back to the admin center. We change this to view. So what it means is when we 
share a document with by default the option would be view only which basically prevents any accidental sharing with uh, people and give them edit access if you really want to give them edit access you can actually do that when you try to share the document and you deliberately select that edit options right so that's the first thing which we should do the second thing is choose expiration and permissions options for, for any one links we should select this options which, which basically says these links must expire within this many days now this is specifically applicable to any one links now what it means is when you share a document you're using anyone with the link that will expire in whatever days you put here so if i put 15 days and i share a document with someone after 15 days when they try to click on the link they won't be able to access the document now having this limit in place also prevents any accidental um, sharing or for example you know if you have someone in your team and they have shared with many people and that person you know uh, leaves the organization this setting will make sure all the links that person have shared are expired within 15 days so you do not have any security loopholes open within your environment now the second option for it is specifically for anyone links as well now these links can give these permissions now by default uh, it's view and edit what it means is if you really want to restrict this option you can say view only so when you share a document using anyone links then the users won't be able to specify that the other person can actually edit the document so you can limit it from here now let's have a look at what it actually means let's just have view and edit in place so 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 far we have only changed um, let's just keep this in place as well so so far we have only changed um, this setting from edit to view and um, the expiry date for anyone with the link is 15 days let's just save this so let's go back to the marketing site again and see what happens so I go back to my site collection again and now I try to share a document again now when I try to share this document you will see that anyone with the link can view previously we had anyone with the link can edit this default setting has changed now if I further click on this I can see that the allow editing option is still there so if you want to give user um, some opportunity to share any files uh, with anyone and they like them to edit the documents then this is great option to have it here they can deliberately select it uh, which prevents any accidental sharing with edit access right um, you will also see that it has now put expiry date uh, which is the 15 days um, limit that we have um, put together if you want to change it you can change it here as well now these are only the default values uh, that we have specified so let's have a look at some other options as well let's just cancel this and close that and go back to the SharePoint admin center now under SharePoint admin center the other setting we have is choose expiration and permission options for anyone links is these links can give these permissions which is view and edit for files and for folders view edit and upload now let's just change this to view only so you only change this to view only if you really really want your users um, to not share the documents with edit permissions so we have this in place and let's click on save again and go back to our marketing site collection so I'm back to my marketing site collection now let's see what has changed so if I let's try to share a different document if I try to share this document um, now obviously the option to share anyone with the link is can view only if we click on that you will see that allow editing option is now disabled there is an expiry date which obviously you can change but these are the default values now because we have changed uh, the option 
um, to disable the editing. So this is not available to the users now. It really comes down to your organizational needs, whether you want to allow your users to share any one link options with, um, you know, with edit permissions or view only. This is kind of a big security, um, you know, kind of a setting which you, you can actually prevent any accidental, um, you know, sharing options with any other users who can actually edit documents. But again, if you want to enable these options, um, you can do that. Um, the option is there but this is how you disable it. Now let's just share this document, anyone with the link and say apply. I'll share it again with my um, Gmail account. So let's just say toshit 50 at gmail.com and we'll say this is a new document and we click send. Um, so let's just go back to the Gmail again and the email should be coming in any time so um, sometimes it goes into your spam so make sure when you share your documents you advise your users to check their spam emails as well okay so we got this email uh, this is a business sales document that we shared let's just open this email which basically says this is a new document this is the comment or message i have added when i was sharing and um, again this um, text says this link will work for anyone now um, I'll say it again, um, whoever has this link uh, will have access to the document. So let's just open this document again in incognito window so that you know we can avoid any session problems. And the document has opened. Now let's just try to modify the document and I do not have any options available to edit. I can click on this and I can't even edit the document. And it basically says this document is read only. So this is how you prevent any, um, you know, number one, any accidental sharing um, of files using any one links. So let's just go back to the SharePoint Admin Center. If you open the SharePoint Admin Center, um, let's just click on admin center and this is how you basically um, you know change these settings um, the only settings we have changed again is the default value when you share the links you can have it view only or you know edit only um, and you can actually put the expiry date when the anyone links will expire and whether you want to restrict your users to you know just to have uh, view only permissions or you want them to give um, edit uh, allowing edit permissions option as well so you can do it and you can do the same for the folders as well so you know there are different options for files so we have only changed these settings to files and you can do the same for the folders as well so if you change this to the folders so when any users share a folder with using anyone with the link they will not see uh, allowing editing options so currently we have allowed editing because we haven't saved that but you know if you change that option so for example let's just say change it um, I have clicked on save so let's just say click save and if I go back to my marketing site and try to share a folder and I click on that now allow editing option is now disabled so this is how you can actually play with anyone with the link options. I'll talk more about uh, different settings and you know sharing external settings in my next video. So stay tuned. All right. So in this video, we looked at using anyone with the links option to share any files and folder within SharePoint Online and OneDrive for Business. There are a number of different options within external sharing settings for SharePoint where we can actually limit the use of anyone with the links option to prevent any accidental sharing of confidential documents. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit like and leave your comments. Hit subscribe if you like to see more video like this in future. That's it for today. I hope to see you next time. Thank you.